Next game I want to talk about is a really good one. This one was Eagles versus Steelers. The Steelers have proven to be one of the best teams in the NFL, and they performed great in this one. Uh, I mean, their defense did not look the best, but their offense was super high-powered in this one. Ben Roethlisberger is having a great season. Uh, after that big shoulder, uh, the big elbow injury that he had, uh, where the Steelers were still able to compete with really bad quarterback play, which just showed how well-rounded their team was, how good the coaching was. But Ben Roethlisberger had 239 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions this game. He was just really good in this one. The running game definitely wasn't super effective with James Conner having a pretty bad performance, only averaging 2.9 on the ground, but he did get a touchdown. And the big standout from this game was Chase Claypool. He's looked really good to start the season so far, even though... Uh, I was a bit worried when they drafted him because he was a player uh, that even though you could see the clear talent just with the physicality with him being 6'4", uh, 238 pounds, he's a mismatch nightmare, but he really doesn't have that much explosiveness, and even though he's having a good season so far, it's still not like he's really beating uh, many players that easily, but it's more just him being so big and so good at getting contested catches. He is one of the best jump ball receivers in the league already, and he's a rookie. He had four touchdowns in this one, three receiving touchdowns, one rushing touchdowns, had 116 yards overall, and he's just a massive deep threat for this team, as Ben Roethlisberger can really just trust him in any situation to go up and get the ball, and that's a great dynamic for them. He's such a good player that they can just throw the ball to in the red zone, and it really opens things up for guys like Juju Smith-Schuster, who didn't have a great one in this one, but it's had a pretty good season so far, and it really just helps Big Ben to always uh, be able to have that security blanket to be able to make really hard contested catches that most players simply can't, but with his physicality, with him basically being built like a tight end, uh, it's a, a really nice pick for them, and he's just looked so, so good this uh, so far this season. And, I mean, the defense uh, didn't look perfect uh, by far. They did allow 29 points to an Eagles team who hasn't looked great so far. Uh, but Stevie Nelson did have two interceptions in this one. Uh, that was nice to see. And uh, their defense just hasn't looked as good as I expected it to, to be completely honest. Mika Fitzpatrick, after having a super electric season last year where he looked like one of the best uh, defensive players in the NFL as a whole, really hasn't had that same impact so far this season. And uh, TJ Watt has still been really good. Uh, he's just one of the best pass rushers in the whole league. Uh, just always putting pressure on the quarterback, uh, getting sacks. He's incredible. And this uh, the pass rush as a whole is still pretty good, but I just want to see their secondary be better, and I, I just want to see Mika Fitzpatrick uh, step up for sure. But overall, this Steelers team is 4-0, looked like one of the best teams in the entire NFL. I mean, I definitely like them uh, to see them really face some tough competition as the competition they face so far has been pretty embarrassing and it's been pretty easy, uh, but I do think they can compete with almost any team in the NFL. They're a scary, scary team so far. And yeah, they've just looked really good, even though, like I said, I want to see them face some tougher competition. I love to see them uh, play the Patriots, play a team like the Titans. Just uh, That's where I think we're really going to see what this team is made of. But I think they're a good team. And I mean, on the Eagles side, Carson Wentz, he just hasn't looked the same this year, simple enough. Uh, he had 258 yards, two touchdowns, did have two interceptions in this one. Uh, and like I said, he just hasn't looked the same this year. After him having a really good season with a huge lack of weapons last year, with uh, him having a bit more weapons, with Miles Sanders proving he's one of the better running backs in the NFL, he's been going off this season so far. He had 11 carries for 80 yards and two touchdowns in this one. He's been so, so good. Even with those weapons being a bit better, even though they're not perfect, they still have to deal with a ton of injuries, as I guess that's just uh, something that is going to be with the Eagles for years to come now, because every every season it seems like uh, they're dealing with like five injuries a game. But yeah, I just have to see Carson Wentz be better. It's really as simple as that. He's been so disappointing so far this season, and... Like I said, he has a good running game, too. Miles Sanders is really, really good. 
Uh, but he just ma- has made a lot of boneheaded mistakes, has made a lot of throws that just don't seem like him. Because just as far as talent, he's one of the most talented quarterbacks in the whole league. He's up there with like a Patrick Mahomes type of player with just pure talent. But he's got to be better mentally for sure. And that's been the big thing holding him back so far this season is the mental mistakes. But yeah, uh, the Eagles... They're one three and one, and it looks like they're still gonna win their division. So, you they really don't have to be that good to win the division. To be completely honest, uh, they can be six nine and one and win the division. They could be, they honestly might be five ten and one and win the division at this point with how bad this division is. Uh, but yeah, the Eagles just aren't in a great position. They're gonna make the playoffs probably, but even when they they do make the playoffs, they're obviously not going anywhere. They're gonna lose to basically whoever face whoever they face because they're not a good team and i mean uh, travis fulgham did have a huge game in this one with him having 10 receptions 152 yards and a touchdown he went off uh but zach Ertz, who's been uh carson Wentz security blanket one reception six yards uh, he did have six targets so that was that was definitely just weird to see because he's a player who's super consistent and this defense got tore apart by big ben man this defense uh, they got basically no pressure on the quarterback. They only got one sack this game, uh, and they just gave Big Ben way too much time. Uh, like I said, got tore apart by Big Ben. Chase Claypool went off on them, and yeah, they just they just don't look like a very good team. This division may be the worst we've ever seen. We thought it was the worst we've ever seen this year, uh, last year, but it's even worse now.